Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Carol Winkler and I'm running for the Office of President of the FCLB in the upcoming elections. Some of you may know me and some of you might not, so I'd like to give you just a little bit of background. I've had the opportunity to practice the art of chiropractic over the last 30 years in Bismarck, North Dakota. I've been able to do that alongside both my dad and my husband. I guess you'd say I'm the girl amongst the band of brothers. And yes, for those of you wondering, my husband and I still get along great. We have three children, Blake, Grant, and Grace. It's been my husband that's afforded me the opportunity to both serve and to give back to this great profession. And for that, I am humbly and lovingly grateful. And as that's a little look back, I'd like to look forward. And I want you to know that I take the Office of President and leading the FCLB into this next time very seriously and to heart. I've served in leadership roles at the FCLB since 2014 and started as district director, moved through board chair, treasurer, and I currently serve as vice president. It's been my pleasure and privilege to contribute with passion and with pride to the development of our FCLB programs. As most of you know, our Triple CA and Sinbad programs have been integral to service in our member boards over the years, but this year our PACE product has been poised for such a time as this. The COVID pandemic hit license renewals across the country very hard. Some of our licensees were unable to renew because they had a requirement of in-person hours that they simply were able to un or were not able to obtain because of the COVID restrictions in place. Our PACE product was operational and poised to provide an online option for these licensees with vetted programs. We were so proud of this at the FCLB. We also affirmed that the essential healthcare status of doctors of chiropractic in the pandemic, and we provided our member boards with resources, with template letters, and with regulatory language that allowed for access to chiropractic care through duly licensed doctors and allowed for public protection throughout the time of the pandemic and still. I commit to you that the same level of integrity of determination, of thoughtful engagement and leadership that have been the hallmark of me and my service in the past will be present in this next term of service. We have a great board to work with and we have a great staff that always does what it takes to get the job done. Our member boards, you, I consider a very trusted group of colleagues that I'm, I'm proud to both serve and to serve with Public protection is the bedrock of regulation. Providing resources for you to accomplish this important task is why the FCLB exists. Looking forward into the future of healthcare regulation with creativity and with forward thinking is what I promise you. The banner right now, in my opinion, over the FCLB right now is possibility. Won't you join me as we move forward into this next decade with expectancy. Lastly, as I circle back and I look at the world of firsts, and we would have to say that we've had many firsts over this last year, many of which have been difficult and disappointing, some of which have been good. I want to say that I am proud as a woman to stand with this opportunity before me. As a woman, as a leader, as a wife, as a mother, I am proud but I also stand here proud to tell you that if I am elected, I will be the first daughter of a past previous president of the FCLB to be elected to serve in this position. So while I am proud of being a woman and as a leader in this position, I am really, really proud and thankful to be the daughter of a great leader. And for that, I have to thank you, Dad. I've called and I've spoken to many of you over the last number of weeks. I've reached out and left messages, and for those I couldn't reach, I've emailed. And I did that because we are not meeting in, per in person this year. And I wanted to put a voice and now a face with my name. I want you to feel comfortable to reach out to me with any questions about me or the FCLB that you might have between now and the time of the election. With that, I want to say thank you for your time. I want to say I am so appreciative and thank you for your service to both chiropractic and to regulation, and I want to just take an opportunity to say God bless to each and every one of you. Thank you, and I look forward to serving you.